You gotta look right at the camera too. Well, hey there, Trinity friends and family. It's Worship Wednesday. And so, if you remember from a couple weeks ago, we said on Wednesdays we were going to sing some worship songs together. And as you can see, I have a little uh, partner here to help me. There's something on your face. And so the song we've picked today is one that Beckham knows, kind of, right? Yeah. <laughs> and he's gonna help me sing it. Um, and it matches in really well with what we've been going about in uh, 1 John. Beckham, can I read you a passage of scripture from the Bible? Yes. And I'm going to ask you some questions about it too, okay? Okay. And you tell me if you can answer some of these questions. All right, so listen to this very carefully. Are you listening? Listen. This is 1 John chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world, and that is the victory that conquers the world. Our faith who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Okay, so Beckham, based on that passage, who is Jesus? God. Yeah, Jesus is God. He's the Son of God, right? And what else did it say about loving God? Does it say that if we love God, we have to follow His rules or not follow His rules? Follow His rules we got to follow his rules. What does that mean? What's the big word for following God's rules? I don't, I can't answer that. Oh, it's, how about obey? You know that word, obey? Obey. What does it mean to obey? Someone who actually, some, some, some parents tell you to do something and you don't do it. Yeah, that's disobeying, right? Do you always obey mommy and daddy? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Do you disobey us? Yeah, sometimes that's okay. Sometimes I disobey God, our Father, too. Yeah, God is our Heavenly Father, and sometimes we disobey Him. Do you know what that's called? But you do not know what direction He's going in. Yeah, well, we do know what direction God's going in because we have His Bible, and we have Jesus. And so if we live like Jesus, then we know what, what God's it's doing. Going that way, that way. It's not a real, actual direction. It's a life direction. Now let me ask you another question about obeying God. Is it hard or easy to obey mommy and daddy? Easy. It's easy. Why is it easy? Because you just don't do it. You just don't do it? But sometimes you disobey us. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy. Let me ask you this. Is it easier to obey us when you know that I love you? Like, so sometimes you want to cross the street, right? But there's cars coming. And I yell at you and I say, no, stay away from the street and you have to obey me. But do you know why I'm asking you to obey me? Because a car might hit me. Because a car might hit you, and guess what? Daddy loves you. I love you a whole lot. And so I don't want you to get hit by a car. That's what that means. That's why I ask you to do those things. God does the same thing to us. God asks us to obey. God asks us to follow his commandments because he loves us and wants to see the best for us. And we can show God how much we love him by obeying him. When you say yes sir to mommy, I mean yes sir to daddy and yes ma'am to mommy, that shows us that you love us. Now how does God show us that he loves us? What was the biggest way that God showed us that he loves us? Um, Do you know what it is? No. Well it's Easter. It's Jesus dying on the cross for us. God came down here as Jesus. And he died for us on the cross just to show us that he loves us. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Now we're going to sing a song together. This is one that's real common for everybody, I'm sure, called Nothing But the Blood. Beckham, you know how it goes? Yes. Okay, we're going to try to sing it for you. We'll do it real slow, okay, buddy? Why? So that you can sing along. 
Well, I, I like to do it fast. You like to do it fast? I'll try to do it as fast as we need to go, okay? Wait, wait, six feet. Okay, six feet. You got it. Here we go. No, see, this feet is like 16 now. 16 net thousand speed. Okay, cheetah speed. Sit down and let's sing together, okay? I don't think that's right. It's right. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. Oh, no other fountain, no. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. All right, give me five. You did good. And now here's the song for real. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fountain, I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my part in this I see. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing this I plead. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fountain, no. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my hope and peace, nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fountain, no, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Jesus.